Thank you, Dr. Lansman Milo, for that very thought provoking presentation. According to the World Health Organization, 360 million people worldwide have a disabling hearing loss. The deaf are recognized at the United Nations with the rights of persons with disabilities. This is an issue particularly close to my heart as I am a scientist here at Tel Aviv University working on deafness. Our laboratory is working to understand the causes of the many types of hearing loss that exist among the Israeli and Palestinian populations toward the development of therapeutic options. Disabilities are defined in many ways. Softwheel has literally reinvented the wheel to enable access for millions of people who would otherwise be without it. I invite Mr. Daniel Burrell, Softwheel CEO, to address the audience. Six minutes, I swear. Well, uh, hi, thank you for having me. Um, Israel is the center of innovation, and uh, as an entrepreneur, we thought what we should do next in order to cut the eye of the intention of the world. And we just said, we'll reinvent the wheel. You know, nobody ever thought it can be done after 3,000 years. And usually, I'm sorry, and usually you are against reinventing the wheel. However, uh, at least until now, as we still say that we're here to reinvent the wheel, um, people don't understand we're literally here to reinvent the wheel. Um, and why? So, first of all, I think we have a wheel here. Gil, would you be willing to? Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is Softwheel. And what Softwheel does is a brand new wheel for everybody. This technology applies to everything that has a wheel, literally. Uh, we are doing things from wheelchairs to airplanes, to cars, to bicycles. And why is it so important? It is important because it allows more freedom especially for people that are sitting on wheelchairs. One percent of the world population is sitting on a wheelchair. That's over 70 million people. And those people have usually uh, less access to either transportation, education, health care, basically any other opportunity, either in a development country or underdeveloped country. And with this technology, we pr allow people in wheelchairs to do things no one ever thought they can, be, can do. What we're doing is basically allowing them to go everywhere they want, reduce dramatically their back pains, improving their health, and not only that, allowing them to go further with electric motors. In a nutshell, it looks like that. It has always been about freedom. The freedom to go where your mind takes you. to choose your own direction, to create your own path. Be free. Be adventurous. Be strong. Be rigid. Be flexible. Adapt. Believe you can. forward, go anywhere. The path is yours. Discover freedom. Yeah, so this is what we do. Um, Shalom, Thank you. We can go up curbs, down curbs. We can take it as a motorized vehicle in the cities. We can go everywhere from a village to a village. Going upstairs, going to places nobody on a wheelchair can go. We're allowing more freedom, more accessibility. Now this is multiplied tenfold when we're talking about children and children on wheelchairs. We're allowing children on wheelchairs to go everywhere. And by doing that, we're allowing them to understand they are not limited by the fact that they are sitting in a wheelchair. They can be, they can do everything that they want. And this is software, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.